Hello everyone, this video is looking at Selenium with PyTest using Python. So many of you will have seen me use Selenium in the past for bits and pieces to do with web scraping. So let's actually see what Selenium is really meant for. It's meant for testing and automation of testing. So we're going to be using Selenium, which I've already installed, pip install Selenium, um, PyTest, same as, same as that, so pip install PyTest. And what we're going to do is we are going to use uh, test underscore, which is the standard format for a PyTest uh, script. So all of this is going to be in one file. Typically, you would have your function and your main code in one file, and then you would have your PyTest file uh, in a, as a separate file. But just for the purposes of this video, I've just put it all into one file. So. Um, if you saw my previous video, you'll know that I've been using by. There's a deprecation warning with Selenium if you don't use by. So just be aware of that. Import by. Refer to my previous video if you want to just check out the differences between the new and the old version. Um, okay, so from Selenium, import WebDriver. If you don't know what WebDriver is, you will need to Google what version of browser you're using and then find the matching one. So I'm using Chrome on Linux, but obviously there's different browsers, different platforms. So you need to find the correct WebDriver for your operating system and for your browser version. Um, you can use Chrome or you can use Gecko. They're the two main ones. So I've, I'm running Chrome. My test function, test Python 360, is actually going to visit my my domain, and I've set up a a dummy website there with some Bootstrap uh, template code. So I've set the title, and I've set the main or I've left the main text as it was. So this script is going to go and open that website. It's going to verify that the title is correct and then it's going to go and verify that the H1 element has the correct text in it. So if you see on line 21, if you're not familiar with XPath, um, don't worry, you can use CSS. I've used XPath for web scraping and I once heard somebody say it's like using a scalpel, whereas CSS is like using a bread knife. CSS um, is easier, to be fair. So, um, horses for courses, just refer to this if you want to use XPath. Um, I've not used it for a while, to be honest, but I basically worked it out using um, right click inspect in the browser. And then you've got your browser tools, and then you can do Control F. And um, yeah, you can kind of build your X path, and you can gradually um, see the highlighted uh, bits you want. Uh, let's try. Um, oh, let's just try this website, for instance. If you do, um, let's go. It doesn't really matter where we go, just right click inspect and then just control F and you can start building your selector down here. See, and then as you type at the bottom, you gradually, it, it takes you to where your selector is actually searching. So anyway, I've done old videos with doing selectors, XPath, CSS. Um, let's run this without further ado and uh, see what happens. So just bear in mind, when you run this, you don't run it as Python. You just, as long as you've got, let me just show you, you need a file beginning with test. And then from the top directory of your project, you will just run PyTest. Um, and there's lots of options. Uh, you can do dash V, it's more verbose. I think you can do two Vs actually. Um, right, there we go. So already we see the first test passed. Um, I've set it to maximize and then close. And you can see the two tests have passed. So uh, 
Yeah, that. Okay, yeah. I had... Forget that test. That's rubbish. I'll delete that. That's a default test that poetry poetry creates when you use poetry to create your project structure. Um, right, let's just run it again. I think we know what's going to happen. <laughs> one passed, one failed, nil. So Selenium opens the browser and then it checks. Um, it goes in and checks this. And I'm using get get underscore attribute inner HTML. And that's actually picking out. I'll show you what it's picking out. So we'll go to this link. So Python 360 is checking the title here and then it's checking this text, which if we do inspect, uh, that writing's quite small, but I think we'll make it a bit, a bit bigger. There we have best quality solution in cleaning. So the selector, uh, let me just show you that again. That was this long bit here. And I built it down here. And um, uh, the get attribute in HTML is a Selenium feature. So um, why is that not working? Uh, there's a quote missing there. And right, there we go. I had the, the bracket on the end. So when you write it, your selector here, that finds the H1 tag and everything inside it. When you go and build it in your code, um, Chrome driver dot find underscore element by equals by dot x path the value equals and then you have to do all this but you also have to uh, remember to get your inner quotes different to your outer quotes so I've got single quotes on the inner quotes here if you see and double quotes on the outside and then yeah dot get attribute so that's the selector that I've tested in the browser and then dot get attribute inner HTML is what actually picks out the text because I'm comparing what the text is against so assert text F which is what the Chrome driver is finding on the web page with main text which is what I've hard coded here um, also if you want to do multiple tests using different um, expected results and inputs you can use parameterize and I did a video two videos ago showing that um, okay so there we go that's quite a quick roundup this is kind of MVP minimum viable products of a one-page selenium test script which you can run with PyTest in Python um, obviously this is about as minimum as minimal as you can get but I just wanted to document this here um, for my sake and just to share it with anybody else who might find it useful so um, yeah it's not going on github because it's just this one page and um, hopefully you can you you'll you'll need to adapt most of it to suit your own needs but just remember the function needs to begin with test underscore Chrome driver and then webdriver.chrome or you could use webdriver.gecko depending on whether you want to use Firefox or Chrome. Um, then again Chrome driver.get that's the name of your page. Maximize window optional. Title I'm just choosing to get the title. Obviously there's way more things you could do. You could go off and get um, the ID of the button and then you could click the button with send keys and so on. So um, there we go. Hopefully this has been interesting. It's really just um, for anybody who's only ever done web scraping and they've heard about unit testing or pie test. This is actually what Selenium is really meant for. So. Yeah, if you've ever heard anybody use this scrapey or beautiful soup say that Selenium's not really a proper web scraping tool, well, 
I'm not going to comment on that, but Selenium is really meant for automation of um, automated testing. So here we, here we see it being used for its proper purpose. So yeah, just a little little short video and I hope it's been informative and interesting and thumbs up and um, yeah, like and all that stuff. So yeah, until the next time, thank you for watching.